Welcome to the second tutorial in my beginner's series on Oculus Quest 2 development. In this tutorial we will configure your Quest 2 for development, which will involve enabling developer mode on your headset. Before you can do this you will need to complete the initial setup procedure for your Oculus Quest. As part of this it is necessary to link your developer account with your headset using Oculus's mobile phone app. This is fairly straightforward. I will take you through the process right now. The first step requires a smartphone, either Android or an iPhone. You will also need to connect your phone to Wi-Fi and have Bluetooth enabled. OK, now on that phone, go to the corresponding app store and search for the official Oculus app. I am showing the process on an Android phone here, hence I am accessing the Google Play Store. Install the app. And once installed, open the Oculus app. You will now be prompted to sign in with a Facebook account. If you have previously chosen to sign up as an Oculus developer using your real Facebook account, you will now need to use that same Facebook account to log into the Oculus Phone app. As a side note, your Oculus developer account also includes a function to generate test users. These are essentially fake Facebook login credentials. You can also sign into the Oculus Phone app using one of these. Be warned however, these test user accounts have limited functionality. Additionally, as mentioned in the previous video, if you opted for an unmerged Oculus developer account, you can avoid using a real Facebook account entirely by logging into the Phone app with a test user account instead. For more information on the unmerged developer accounts and test users, please refer to the link in the description. Point of caution, once your Quest 2 headset is linked to the Oculus Phone app, the account you use to log into the Phone app becomes fixed in the headset. You can't easily switch to another user account. The only way to do this, in fact, is to perform a factory reset on your headset, which is a bit of a pain as you have to go through the whole setup procedure all over again. Incidentally, if you ever need to perform a factory reset on your Quest 2, I have provided a link in the description on how to do so. Anyway, back to the task at hand. Whichever method you have chosen, please log into the Oculus Phone app with the appropriate account. Once you are logged in, don't select a headset just yet. You can put down the phone for now. It's time to grab your headset and switch it on. The next part of the setup process takes place in the headset, so put on your Quest 2 and follow the instructions. Once you have completed the setup process, the headset will perform a software update. This can take several minutes, so you will be prompted to remove your headset. You should hear an audible cue when the update is finished. Once the update is complete, you can grab your phone again. Open the Oculus Phone app and on the Select Headset screen, select Quest 2. Press Continue. The Phone app will now try and pair with your headset. The app will attempt to detect your pairing code automatically. If for some reason this fails, you will be prompted to manually key in the 5 digit pairing code, in which case the code will be displayed in your headset. If all goes well, your phone should now be paired with the headset. Press the close button, you should now see the home screen. Now, finally, you can enable developer mode in your headset. While still in the phone app, select devices in the bottom menu bar. Your Quest 2 should still be selected and connected to the phone app. Under Headset Settings, select Developer Mode. You should now see a toggle labelled Developer Mode. Turn it on. And that's it. Your Quest 2 is now in Developer Mode. You will now be able to run your own creations on your headset. In the next video, we will look into sideloading, which is the process of installing unofficial apps on your headset. Specifically, 
we will be using an application called SideQuest since it makes the business of side loading very simple. You will find a link to the next video in the description below.